evening, boxing fans. Hope is going well. We're fresh off the weekend of a great fight between Fury and Wilder. Great, amazing fight. But this fight made me realize there's a lot of bias in boxing. Now, before y'all get started, I'm not saying it's coming from this or because of this background or that background. I'm not talking about that. I'm not even going into all that. I'm talking about bias for your favorite fighter. And that's it. So don't put all this goofy shit y'all been putting in the comments about LDBC. I don't even know what the hell LDBC or whatever that shit is. I'm talking about bias towards a certain fighter. And that's all I'm talking about. And that's what we gonna talk about. And this Wilder Fury fight made me realize it because everyone goes back to the Wilder Ortiz fight. You know, the same guys who are saying, oh, Fury got the proper count, are the same guys that said Wilder got an uh, extra time in Ortiz fight. It's the same thing. Exact same thing. But when it's one, and I'm talking about myself here too. I'm no hypocrite. And contrary to what Leon Muhammad says, all this, you ain't fair shit. I'm fair. I'm no hypocrite. I'm going to be fair. I have those same biases too. Because Wilder did get a little extra recovery time when he was fighting Ortiz. He did, I'll admit that. He got extra recovery time when he was fighting Ortiz. But the same thing happened with Fury. And you guys, some of you guys, won't admit that shit. Now that ain't being fair. That shit ain't fair, okay? It's the same exact thing. But when it's your favorite fighter, or the guy you're cheering for, or the guy that's from your hometown, we tend to have biases towards these guys. Or the guy you met when you was at the shopping mall and they took a picture with you and you was cool with them. We all got these same biases. You know, we try to be objective, all of us. And don't say, well, I'm not like that. I, I would never like that. And I, like, I'm a boxing purist. Bullshit. Everybody had their own biases. Like last night or last weekend, they'll say, oh yeah, Tyson Fury boxed the shit out of uh, Deontay Wilder. And y'all know good and damn well when Floyd Mayweather did the same thing, y'all said he was running. Y'all said Floyd was running. But if Tyson Fury does it, oh, that's great boxing. That's because y'all his fans, man. You know, that's because y'all was Floyd's fans. That's because y'all was Tyson's fans. We got to stop playing his game. Like, we don't have biases. We all have biases, especially when it comes to boxing. If you like a fighter, he can get away with certain shit that a fighter you don't like can get away with. Because if you was a fan of Wilder, you say, God damn, he knocked out everybody he ever fought. He knocked out everybody he ever fought. And I mean, that's an incredible accomplishment if you want to be real about it. But people say, oh, well, Wilder's is this and Wilder's that. But yeah, he knocked out everybody he ever fought. And you know, there's a lot of hate going towards Floyd saying he ran. But if you're a Floyd fan, you say, damn, Floyd is a masterful boxer. So that's what I want to talk about, these biases in boxing. I want you guys to comment and share this because I want a lot of feedback from the fans. I want to know, can some of you guys man up and some of you ladies woman up or whatever and, and, and really admit that you have a bias towards fighters you like and dislike. And then don't, because then y'all don't start that rating shit. We don't do that. Say you like the fighter, don't like. Some of y'all say, well, he's from this and that country and that thing. No, none of that shit. We got certain fighters we like, and we got certain fighters we don't like. Whatever the reason is, it's irrelevant. I'm saying I want to know how you guys feel about bias in boxing, and do you give more leeway to a guy that you're a fan of versus the guy you're not? Please leave comments, like, and share. Thank you guys. See you at the next fight this weekend, Lomachenko, baby.